Hello everyone. So today in this video we will discuss how you can configure your digital ocean droplet with WordPress and run on SSL. So let me just open the digital ocean account like this. So first you need to create a project if you are trying to create a new digital ocean account and then uh, also you will get free credit if you use my link so link is in description you will get 90 dollars credit that you can use within 60 days okay so you just need to click on this create button and choose the droplet option okay so here you need to choose the ubuntu that is previously selected okay no problem but if you are uh, going to install the wordpress then you need to go to marketplace first and this is the managed sql cluster droplet so it will cost 15 dollars per month if you want to add this this will give you a dedicated droplet for your uh, wordpress database so if you want this then you can select this otherwise leave it as it is so next one cpu uh, shared cpu is basic so if you want dedicated cpu then you can choose any option but i recommend share cpu for small sites so here i choose droplet for five dollars per month now here i need to choose the data center reason okay so i am just choosing yeah new york is fine okay new york so here i need to enter the authentication method one is ssh keys and other one is password so you can choose any method and create the keys let me just uh, create it with password okay make sure to use a secure password also you can change it later if you want but it is good if you make it secure Content in a number special letter. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay, please store your password securely. Okay, so this is for backup. If you enable backup, and it, then it will cost one dollar per month, uh, or it per do droplet. So I am not enabling this backup, but enabling monitoring so monitoring will give you access to other features for uh, to monitor droplet functions okay so here i need to enter the host name then i enter the website name and then click on this create droplet button yes here the droplet is creating it will take uh, less than a minute okay basically it's a different cpanel type thing uh, not cpanel because it works on command line okay it will be completed within few seconds in meanwhile subscribe to our channel if you want daily web development and SEO related videos and we also cover google algorithm updates for latest ranking methods so this is our ip which is connected with this mm, uh, droplet okay so you first need to click on these three dots and then click on add a domain so here you need to enter a domain name okay so this domain will be linked with this uh, droplet but not now you need to finish few more settings so let me just enter the domain name first and click on this add domain button yes so here this domain is added in this droplet uh, sorry in this on uh, this account not in droplet okay so these this is our a record which means this is the ip and the below given 
थ्री आर नेम सर्वर्स सो लेट मी जस्ट चेंज द नेम सर्वर्स फर्स्ट आई नीड टू माय डोमेन सर डोमेन प्रोवाइडर विच इज़ गो डैडी देन गो टू प्रोडक्ट्स एंड देन फ्रॉम दिस डोमेन लिस्ट आई नीड टू सेलेक्ट द डोमेन यस दिस इज द डोमेन एंड नीड टू क्लिक ऑन दिस थ्री डॉट्स एंड देन क्लिक ऑन मैनेज डी एन एस यस लाइक दैट so here are the name servers i just need to click on change and enter my own name servers so i need to replace these two name servers with the dislocation name servers so just copy if you hover your mouse near that then it will show you the copy button just like that copy and paste it here second name server paste and this third name server paste like this and then uh okay fine you can just remove these dots in the end and then click on the save button yes now you need to give the consent to change the change the name servers okay so your request is in progress most server name servers update take effect within an hour and it may take up to 48 hours to update globally okay so just need to check yes these names are also updated on the godaddy end so first let us check them on the global servers so you can go to what's my dns dot net and enter your domain name like this and change it to ns or name servers <coughs> yes these names are also updated on some of the locations and a few locations are left so i suggest you to wait for minimum 30 minutes before proceeding to the next step because allow them allow the name servers to update globally because it will fasten the process or the configurations in uh, ssl and other settings so i recommend to wait for 30 minutes after changing name servers yes they are updating globally like here they are um, just not reflecting on three locations okay no problem but i recommend to wait for minimum 30 minutes so let me just go to the project to install the wordpress and configure ssl not not installing uh, wordpress wordpress is already installed but to connect the domain yes so these are the uh, monitoring stats here you can check your uh, drop out drop plate working like bandwidth cpu okay so from here you can manage the power like turn off the droplet and the power cycle power cycle means it will restart so resize in this resize tab you can see the uh, or uh, upgrade cpu and ram so if you want to uh, upgrade highly then you need to upgrade the disk option also so but this is permanent you can't reverse this change like if you upgrade it to disk then you can't revert it back so be careful when upgrading also if you have any questions regarding the digital ocean server and configurations drop it in the comment box i will answer your questions okay so this is our droplet we just go to console yes it is con connecting to dropper connected yes that's it so now it will in the first start it will ask us the uh, domain name which we want to connect with this droplet okay let me just wait it in the screen okay so here i enter my domain name wait a second 
yes that's it so this is the console or digital ocean droplet console so here we have to enter all these details which is required and if you want to change anything so this is just a message ignore these above messages just enter your domain name make sure to make sure you have already connected your domain to digital ocean yes this is activated okay so it is uh, uh, configuring the wordpress so it ask us to enter our email address the wordpress username make sure to remember these or add it carefully so this is the password for wordpress wp admin okay password will not be shown in this screen and then enter blog title okay and yes these informations are correct okay then it will ask us to uh, if we want to uh, configure ssl let's encrypt ssl so yes we want it yes why and it will start installing the ssl so here we need to enter the email address this email address will be used for renewal updates and other security updates okay so we need to agree with their terms uh, would you like to share your email address with the electronic okay if you can select yes or no so now it will ask us to would you like to activate https4 the domain only or the ww part both so we can choose two one and two yes obtaining a new certificate yes okay 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 so the process is completed but there the www part is not configured on ssl yet so it will take a few more minutes um, because of the dns propagation and it will be installed automatically no issue but you have to wait for minimum one to two hours okay so let me just go to the website to check yes it is working fine with http only okay now https yes it's working fine okay great mm -hmm. okay so it is basically it is not redirecting to https okay web server is not forcing the ssl so this is the code you can pause your screen and copy it only repla replace with the domain name let me fit it for you so this is the code search port okay got it so you just need to update the domain name in this code and then enter in the search console not search no, it's droplet console okay so it will ask us to enable the re redirect no redirect or press 2 for redirect okay so let me enter the 2 yes and it's successfully congratulations you have enabled https for this domain okay so let's just check it on the whynopadlog.com okay process test yes the web server is forcing the ssl yeah now it's working fine let me just refresh the http part and make sure yes it's redirecting to https so it's configured successfully so if you have any questions about digital ocean or something uh, else or in web development then just ask us on the comment box so don't forget to hit like share and subscribe to our channel thank you